Hello there, humans of these earthlings, whoever you are, wherever you are, whatever you're doing, and whoever you're lucky enough indeed to be doing it to. Welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to talk about one of the oddest looking tanks in game. This is the Waffle Tractor. One of the reasons I want to bring this tank up is I've recently been rambling on about uh, how overpowered a lot of the premium pay to win tanks are at the moment. And they do seem to be going that direction. Whatever. And yet... Do you know the two tanks that I probably get more replays on than any other tanks in the game? They're the Waffle Tractor and the Grill. That's the Waffle Tractor and the Grill. Those two vehicles, two exceptionally lightly armored tanks that, to be honest, don't have anything remotely different in terms of guns compared to most of the other tanks at their tier in terms of, you know, 150 millimeter guns. In fact, the Waffle you can play with a 128 and do very, very well with, and a lot of people do run up with the 128 millimeter. Yet, there is something about these two tanks that just inspires big damage games. And I want to investigate this just a touch because I think a lot of it has to do with, well, two things really. One, for the Waffle Tractor in particular, is that the grill comes after it. And people are enamored of the grill. I love the grill. I think the grill is a wonderful vehicle as we watch Boss sitting at the back of the map here doing his thing. I think the grill is a wonderful vehicle, but the grill has been nerfed and nerfed and nerfed again in tiny increments ever since I drove it on the test server way back in the day when it was first released. Like it's on, on the test server, it had like a 0.25 dispersion and a little more gun depression. And that then got nerfed before release. And then since then they've touched up the dispersion again and, and lowered the, uh, the power of the engine. And they've done everything they can to make the tank less attractive. But still, it persists as this incredibly popular vehicle. For a tank that is at a tier that has more big guns than any other tier in the game, like tier 10, the grill just draws humans to it in an unambiguous fashion. They love it. They love the thing. So because the grill is at tier 10, the waffle gets a lot of gameplay. Ho, 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 how about them apples? The waffle has to be played to get to the grill. So, one, you've got a lot of people playing the tank because it's a gateway drug to a tank that people just adore for some reason. And two, you've got a tank that is really built to be played as second line. Far back on the second line. In fact, let's just call it third line because second line is probably too too much of a, an up close and personal occurrence for the waffle tractor and this leads you to a lot of high damage games which are for their damage numbers generally low experience and for that reason i get bucket loads of games in waffle tractors and grills because they are all tanks that to be played well are played as primarily the hand of god tank at the back of the map they they're played as the tank where you're up the front in an is4 and you're side scraping and the e100 thinks he's got you and suddenly boom there's a 640 alpha shot straight through your lower plate and you're on your way back to the garage because this is really what the waffle and the grill excel at look at the teams here on on this side we have thorax in the uh, waffle tractor and he's Amigo in a grill. On the other team, there is a grill and a waffle tractor. I love the grill and I've always enjoyed driving it. And I drive it far too aggressively. It's like you know, my numbers in the grill, they tend to be very, very risk and reward uh, oriented. Like you're either zero or you're 4K. But this is how you play these tanks. And people love the concept of sniping. People love the concept of putting damage out while taking no damage back. And it's made the Waffle Tractor and the Grill two of the most popular vehicles to drive in the entire game. I, I really had to sit down and look at this because of the amount of replays I get that are high damage from these two tanks. And the numbers don't really bear that out when you look at Blitz Stars. They're not like outrageously high. What I think they are is... Two tanks that 
as I said, risk and reward wise are either all or nothing. You can have so many games in these tanks where you get 183'd through the gun and uh, uh, across your gun mantlet and it's just the end of the world. And yet you'll have other games like this where Thorax is sitting at the back and is just going to farm damage like an absolute beast. And he does a lot more than just sit at the back here too, I, I might add. Um, he he really does get involved in this gameplay. And you're going to see in, in just a short while, E4 report. Like, <laughs> you got to love this, hey? Uh, the E4, in fact, isn't doing a whole lot there on the on the left of the screen. But he is uh, he's no different to any of the other TDs on his team. And this is... <laughs> Yeah, see, the 57 Heavy is filthy at the three TDs that are all sitting at the back of the map with their 150mm guns. But have a look at the Waffle Tractor down there who's moved up. It's not done him any good whatsoever. You can't, you quite simply can't play the tank in the front line or play the tank spotted. That's what you can't do. You can't play the tank spotted. And Sony Stars underscore one is... Echoing the feelings of an enormous part of the Blitz demographic, myself included. I just did a game where I, I said, this is the stuff that triggers me. But the things that trigger me are not so much people moving at the back. It's people that are at the back of the map without having any shots. And you would be just as, uh, just as right saying here that there's a lot of guys on the team here who are, in fact, being far too aggressive on a map that, let's be honest, Castilla is one of the most campy maps in the game. It's right up there with Oasis Palms because there is a huge amount of monster guns at Tier 10 that line the ridges uh, at both the north and the south spawn. And if you are spotted, that's, that's the whole thing. That's what they're there for. They are just literally gunning and running along the ridge line but now things are starting to get serious because the three guys at the back they're all that's left of the team and the reds are coming in hot heavy and hard and there's a waffle tractor who really is not in a situation that you'd be happy with if you i mean that is not where the waffle can exist and suddenly it's a two on three plenty of hit points left on the board by the way we haven't seen the red grill yet and we have not seen uh, had not had a shot at the VK4502B. There's the A100. 725 is a lovely roll. The <laughs> 57 Tyler's has not stopped in his crusade. Um, yeah, look, it's a funny one, isn't it? I, I looked through my inbox because I'm going to Tank Fest and I was just, wow, I've got more waffle and grill games. More waffle and grill games. And, wow, do you see that? Yeah. There's your, we found our, uh, we found our grill. He's down there on the left and he's about to put another one down here towards our boy. Oh, ooh, ooh, he just gets behind. He's at four and a half thousand damage with two tanks left to go and they are both full hit points. If he gets out of here, this is going to be one absolutely disgusting number of damage. Uh, the VK4502B, He's been spotted up there. Wonderful. Another 62, uh, 620 damage to the kick bag. Here comes the grill. This is going to be rough. He needs a good HE roll here. Just gets out from under the grill. The grill can't get the gun down far enough. Oh, this is a disaster. A thousand. He can outlast. 672. That's AP. Happy freaking days. He can do this. He can clear the grill. Needs another HE shot. Gets it. Two shots the grill. 380 hit points left. I don't know how he does this. I don't know how he's going to do this. Um, surely this is the end of days. He needs to track this tank. Oh my god. HE. That was a HE shell? Or was it just a low roll on AP? I think it was a low AP roll. He's got to live long enough to get away from this bloody VK. Come on, the VK. Oh! 8100 damage. Wow. 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 Yep. <laughs> 57 heavy. You might want to take back uh, a little bit of that commentary, my friend. 
Well done, Thorax underscore Finn. You are the real MVP. Until next time, boys and girls, look after yourselves and stay safe on the battlefield. Bye for now.